Hello, everybody, and welcome to How to Make Your Wife Happy and Healthy. Today's recipe, oh, it's a very scrumptious recipe. And instead of teaching it, let me just show it to you. Here it is. See how wonderful it is? And this, oh, it looks so good. It has such great smell and aroma. The flavor just mixed together. Oh, you guys gotta have some. Oh, mmm, mmm, mmm. Do I know how to make this dish? Well, come on, everybody. Let's get cooking. Today, we are gonna make pico de gallo, or salsa. It's really fresh and flavorful. It can be used with chicken, whether it's roasted or grilled. It can also be used on fried beef. Oh, so many great recipes for it. So many great ways to make it. Here, you learn how to make a very fresh and healthy tasting salsa. Here are the ingredients. Three ripe tomatoes. You can use canned tomatoes if you want it to taste bad. Half a red onion. You can store the other half in the refrigerator using aluminum foil. A pepper. This one's a jalapeno pepper. You can use other peppers too. If you want it milder, you can use Anaheim chilies or less of them. If you want it hotter, you can use Serrano chilies. Or if you're having Guy Fieri over, you can use a ghost pepper. Two cloves of garlic. A tablespoon of lime juice. I don't have a lime today, so I just have to use a lemon. A quarter cup of fresh chopped cilantro. A little bit of olive oil. Salt and pepper to taste. You can mix the ingredients in any order, but I first like to peel the tomatoes. Now that tomatoes are peeled, we're going to chop them up. You can decide how big or how small you want them chopped up. Again, my trick is to do the outside all the way around the core. Once you finish the core, chop off the top, throw that part away. And you can cut the rest of the tomatoes up easily. I'm going to dice them to a certain height, certain width. You may choose your own height or width. Once I've chopped it a bit, that's still too big, so I usually go over it again. Using a chopping motion, chop it up really fine. Once you chop it the size you like, put it into a mixing bowl for mixing the other ingredients. I'll cut up the other two. Do the same thing. Now that we've chopped up the tomatoes, we're going to add them to the bowl. Set the bowl aside while we prepare the other ingredients. Next, I like to chop up the onion. I find the flavor of red onion works best. Remember, I'm going to take half of it only. You can add more if you like more onion flavor. I'm only going to take half. Don't forget to peel your onion first. I make a big enough cut in the top so I can use it to help peel that first layer. It's better to peel the first layer off all the way around. And I'll chop up the rest of the onion finely. That might make you cry. I have no way around that. So I cut through the middle, cut off the edges. Make some fine slices. And then chop it down from there. Since the red onion is so dense, that's why I only like to do half of one. A full onion would dominate 
your pico de gallo. Now the onions are all nicely chopped, I'm going to add them to the bowl. Next on my list is a jalapeno. Since it's a rather big one, I'm only going to use one. For jalapenos and the peppers, some people might want to use gloves. Because the oils on the, on the peppers will make your fingers burn. I'm pretty much immune to jalapenos. But I do use one precaution that actually helps a lot. Once you slice the top off, slice it in half. Use a spoon to dig out the insides, unless you want to have the insides in your salsa. Most people do not have the insides for the pico de gallo. So use a spoon to save your fingertips. Okay, now that you've successfully taken out the inside of your jalapeno, your pepper, now you need to slice it up. Nice thin slices down the spine. And once you got those, you're going to slice them up and dice up really small across your regular, your other cuts. So you make some really small jalapeno slices for the salsa. Okay, now we've got to slice up really small. Time to put it into the salsa. Jalapenos are in. Next, we'll slice of about a tablespoon of cilantro. Cilantro has a nice, fresh flavor to the salsa, the pico de gallo. Now, as you slice it, you can smell the aroma of the cilantro. Breaking the leaves with the slicing helps release all their flavors. Now the slice has been sliced up, time to put it in the salsa too. Okay, next, gonna put in the garlic. For garlic, I can use a cheese grater. It gets really nice and small without actually using a knife. So just run it across the cheese grater, the smallest one you can get. Run it around, run it in. And it has that nice garlic taste. Now it's time to cut up the lime. Cut the lime in half. And you're going to squeeze the lime. Put your finger under the juice. So that as you squeeze it, the seeds that come out don't make it into the salsa. Now that's about a tablespoon of lime juice. That'll keep it nice and fresh flavorful. Now we're ready for the final three ingredients. A little bit of salt to taste, however much you like. 
Some people I like to dump a lot of salt in their salsa. I'm not one of those. About a teaspoon to a tablespoon of oil. That's good. And a little bit of pepper. As much as those you like of that, then we're gonna stir it all together. Once you stir it together, you gotta take the taste test. Don't just stir it together and think it's gonna be good. Stir it together, test it, taste it. See if it's good enough to serve. If it's not good enough to serve, I would never miss the ingredient you think would make it taste better. If it needs more garlic, add more garlic. Needs more onion, add more onion. Needs more cilantro, add that. Whatever ingredient you'd rather have more flavor of, go ahead and add what is missing. Can't take away anything. If it's too hot, add more tomatoes. If it's not hot enough, add more peppers or onion, whichever hotness you want. If you want more salt, add some salt. If you want more fresh flavor, add more cilantro. So whatever it is you want to add, add to it. So let me take a taste. I'll see what I think. I'm going to use a chip to see what I think of the salsa. I'm lucky. Today that's just like I like it. So it is done. You can refrigerate it and keep it fresh for later. Make it cold. People usually like a cold salsa. So there it is. Pico de Gaia. The onion and cilantro discourage me from dipping out the ingredients, but the ingredients mixed together make good juice to dip the chips inside. This is less spicy than store-bought salsa. A salsa cream cheese is better.